Hello, I'm Dr. Wickham Simons, and this is uh, Obesity Medicine Perspective. I'm an uh, obesity medicine specialist, and I practice in the Triangle area of North Carolina. On the last video that I did, I was talking about my own experience, both with diet and with prescription diet medication, and we were talking about a relatively new um, prescription drug treatment called Belvic. Now, before I continue on with that, I had a question from a viewer about uh, carbohydrate intake and insulin and carbohydrate craving. So I do a ketogenic diet, which means that my uh, intake of carbohydrate is lower than 20 grams of carbohydrate a day, and that brings my insulin level really low. And when that insulin level gets low, the carbohydrate craving goes away. And that's an important concept. I don't crave carbohydrates. People say, well, don't you miss spaghetti or cake or bread or whatever? And my answer to you is no. I don't miss them at all. I don't even think about them. So this is a benefit of doing a low carbohydrate diet. When you get into a state of nutritional ketosis after two or three days of being on a diet like that, that insulin level is so low that you, you will find that you really don't crave or miss those things. And um, that makes, I think, avoiding them a lot easier because you're not even thinking about them. So that's the answer to that question. Now, I want to uh, transition over and continue to talk about the prescription medication Belv because I related that I go see a weight loss doctor, and I, he prescribes to me Fentramine and Belv. And it was at my request that he prescribed the Belv. And I explained that Belvic is a drug that works by a serotonin mechanism. It binds, binds a very specific serotonin receptor in the appetite center in your brain. And when you've been taking this drug for a few weeks, you'll begin to notice that uh, you get full and satiated really quickly once you start eating. And so the amount of food that you eat is smaller uh, than uh, what you're accustomed to. And that's the intent and the purpose of the drug. Now. This drug has not been studied in combination with fentramine over a long period of time. So there's risk involved. And so the, the FDA and uh, the dr uh, drug company that makes Belvique uh, recommend that you not use it with fentramine. And the reason they say that is because it really hasn't been studied for an extensive period of time with fentramine in a large number of people. Now the mechanism of action of the Belvique and the fentramine to me is like eating uh, a a celery stick and a bell pepper. All right, they, they, they are two different things, but in my opinion, when you eat them together, there's no sort of harmful result. And so from that standpoint, from the theoretical standpoint of how these drugs work, I don't see there being this negative potential interaction, so I feel safe taking that. Now, if you decided you ever wanted to do these two together, you need to know these things I've just said. I can't guarantee that you would not have some sort of negative outcome. And so you'd have to sign an informed consent that we would have here in the office that would uh, more or less say that, hey, we've told you that based on the mechanism of action, uh, it's, that it doesn't make sense that you would have a negative outcome, but that we can't guarantee that because it's never really been uh, studied together. So I think it is a drug treatment option for those who might be taking fentramine alone and are having a hard time losing weight on just one drug and there's a need uh, to take a second drug. It is really not an option, I think, in someone who's already uh, ha has a body mass index, say, of under 27 and is uh, relatively thin and doesn't need, uh, doesn't have a compelling r a reason to lose um, a significant amount of body fat. So I think you need to have some risk of of developing disease based on your weight and your body fat percentage and that is something that could be an option for you, that combination of the fentramine and the Belvique, but you need to understand that you're taking on some risk doing that. So none, none of it is uh, required of you, but I wanted to share my own experience of, of what I'm doing and I've had a very good experience with it. I've lost 55 pounds since January the 1st and it's now the first week of August when we're doing this video. So I think that um, in combination with the low-carbohydrate diet I do, it's been a very effective pill combination. In the next video, I'll continue to talk a little more about that, how much it costs, you know, and uh, is there a savings program with it type thing, and we can cover all of those kind of practical things. Until then, I want you to continue to follow me on these YouTube videos on our social sites, so the, the Facebook and Twitter site for Dr. Simon's Weight Loss. And if you follow, you can get a free in-body 770 body composition analysis. 
Uh, until next time, I'll give you the tools, you give me the effort, and together we can overcome obesity.